Yeah. 
is worthy. Black men, black men. 
I had your name in my prayer list this morning. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> you got a life in prison, Amen. You got a young man, you got in a position right now that life's in front of you. A lot of temptation, a lot of trials and tribulations going to be in front of you. But we're going to ask God to protect your hands on you. Yes. Amen. Because God lets you raise up to be what He wants you to be. He has some greatness inside of you. Amen. So I just want to encourage you. Don't let this be the last time. Amen. 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 I'm going to pray for Sister Janice Lee. She had Amen. surgery. Amen. Pray for Sister Jacqueline, she had surgery. Amen. I pray for Sister Lynn, she went to the hospital. Amen. I pray for Sister Arthur Hardy, she's in the hospital. Amen. I pray for Reverend Earl Hardy, uncle, he's got cancer, came back on him. I want to pray for Candace Governato. I want to pray for Travis Eskridge. Got a call that my cousin Eli Landry uh, passed away in Oklahoma yesterday. I want to pray for the Springs family in Tennessee. Anybody else's name going to match our prayer list? Because the Gladys family, okay. um, my little cousin that came to church with us before Chandler, okay. his grandfather was found dead last night. <laughs> okay. And the Armstead family, okay. the Lawson family, and I also want to pray for the Schofield family. Okay. Eric, one of the twins had heart attack. Okay. Davis came up, court of my, uh, my uh, wife came a couple months ago and she had a grandson. You know, probably her grandson's grandmother passed away. Don't put that down there. It's a Hopkins family. Well, just, just pray for the young folks, John. We, we losing a whole lot of young folks. Young black men. Mm -hmm. We just need to pray for them. Well, whatever the situation is, man, I tell you, we just need to pray. Amen. I'm going to thank God for the airline that brought somebody all the way from my own. Yeah. 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 Amen. Amen. Psalm 121, if you have to be pleased. I will lift up my eyes into the hills. I will lift up my eyes into the hills. From which cometh my help. From which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. My help cometh from the Lord. Which made heaven and earth. Which made heaven and earth. He would not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee, he that keepeth thee, will not slumber. Will not slumber. Behold, behold, he that keepeth Israel, he that keepeth Israel, shall neither slumber nor sleep. Shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day. The sun shall not smite thee by day. No moon by night. No moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. The Lord shall preserve thy going out. And thy coming in. And thy coming in. From this time forth. From this time forth. And even. And even. Forevermore. Forevermore. The word of God says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Yes, Lord. And all that he is within me. Yes, Bless his holy name. Yes, Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Mm -hmm. And forget not all his benefits. Yes, Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, yes, Lord. Who healeth all thy diseases. Yes, Lord. Who redeemeth thy life Thank and you. destruction. Thank you. Who findeth thee with loving kindness Thank you. and tender mercy. Yes, Lord. Who satisfies thy mouth with good things. Yes, so that thy youth is renewed like the yes, Lord. The Lord executed righteousness oh, and Lord. judgment for all that are oppressed. Yeah. He made known his ways unto Moses, yes, his acts unto the children of Israel. Oh, oh, oh. In the O Lord, you yes, are put my trust. Yes. Let me never be put to confusion. Yes, Deliver me in thy righteousness. Yes. Yes. And cause me to escape. Yes, and climb their ear under me. Yes, and save me. Thank you. Be thou my strong habitation. Yes. Yes. Whereunto I may continually resort. Yes. Yes. Thou hast given commandment. Thank you, Lord. Save me. Thank you, Lord. 
God, my rock, yes. and my fortress. Yes. Deliver me, yes. oh my God, Lord. out of the hand of the wicked, yes. out of the hand of the unrighteous, yes. and the cruel man. You know them. For thou art my hope, yes. oh Lord God, yes. thou art my trust yes. for my youth. Yes, he is, Lord. By me have I been holding up from the womb. Yes, sir. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. Yes, my praise my shall be continually of thee. Yes. I was a wonder yes. under many. Yes, Thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise. Please, Lord, Lord. And with thy honor Please, all the day. Yes, Cast me not off Lord. in the time of way. Yes. Forsake me not yes, sir. when my strength yes. is in me. Yes, sir. Yes. Eternal God, our Father. Yes. For the mountains will draw forth. Yes, sir. The earth will receive the Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, Lord. Yes. For the morning stars and the shadows of joy. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. That has been from everlasting to yes, everlasting. Oh, Throughout the end of ages, thou art the same. Yes, sir. Uh, realize that every good gift. Yes, it do, God. And every perfect gift. Oh, Lord, God. Come from the Father. Yes, sir. Which is from above. Yes, Father, God. You are an awesome God. Yes, yes sir. Master. You are amazing God. Yes, sir. Oh, you are powerful God. Yes, sir. You are loving God. Yes, sir. You are forgiving God. Thank you, sir. You are God of providing. Thank you, sir. You're a God that is a sustainer. Oh, yeah. You're a God that's a shelter. Mm-hmm. You're a God that will keep us in spite of. Yes, yes. Holy Master, this moment, yes. we thank you that you allow this day. Yes. This is the day that you have made. Yes. And we're going to rejoice in you. Thank you, glad in it. Thank you, Master. Oh, no. Thank you right now, Master. Because yeah. you've been mighty good. Yes. Yeah. You've been mighty good to us. So, thank you. Master, you've been so good. Thank, thank you, Master. That you let us this morning. Yes, 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 yes. Breathe your ass. Oh, Lord Jesus. Uh-huh. This morning you let us drink your water. Yes, yes, yes. Let us be our right mind. Yes, yes sir. And be able to come down to yes, choose. Yes, yes. To come to Old King Missionary yes, Adams Church. Yes, yes, Master, I want to thank you. Oh, Lord Jesus. For the ones that you bless. Yes. yes. Say traveling grace. Yes. yes. Down to this day in the Lord, Lord. Yes. For the first time. Yes. yes. You didn't have to do it, Master. Yes. Yes. But you made a way. Always. Yes. Yes. And Master, we've got some young men this morning. Always. Yes. That you allow to come in here with the wine. Yes. 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 Young yes. men bring this back. Yes. 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 That you have selected yes. before the foundation yes. of the word. Yes. yes. We'll be here this morning. Yes. 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 Matthew 10, chapter verse 36. Oh, Every hair on that head oh, is named in number. Yes. Oh, yes. Psalm 56, verse 8 says, Every tear that falls out of their eye, yes. you have a captain in the Bible. Oh, you have a recorder in the book. Yes. Lord Jesus. Psalm, he was going to say, You are discerned yes. for the thoughts and the intent yes. of the heart. Yes. Yes. You already know their thoughts. Yes. You know what their young minds are going through. Yes. Holy Master, we plead the blood of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Always. Right now on top of it. Always. On top of your head. No, yes. Lord, 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 Lord. Yes. yes. Bless and gracious Master. Yes. As you see fit, you, yes. you know what the you, you want to be purposeful. Yes. Yes. He asked you this morning, yes. if you don't mind, yes. Yes. put a hedge around these young yes. men. Yes. Put a hedge around them. Yes. 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 Yes.
it's a long friend of loving kindness. Yeah. And you multitude of tender mercy. Yeah. You can reach down in the low land of sorrow yeah. and touch a hurting body. Yeah. Touch a troubled mind. Yeah. Touch right now, Master, oh, yeah. as you see fit. Yeah. Everybody that's hurt. Yeah. All the names that have had surgery. Yeah. Touch Sister Jacket. Touch yeah. Sister Janice Lee. Touch them right now. Yeah. You know, they might have been going through the pain and wounds that they're going through. That's the healing in the word. That's the actual heal according to your will. Touch them on top of their head to the bottom of their feet. You know where the womb is, Master. If you don't mind, seek healing. Seek mercy and grace. Please have, have mercy. And that's any infection. We curse it right now in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And we seek it back to the depths of hell where you came from. Never rise again. We rebuke it in Jesus' name. It's in Jesus' name. Holy oh, Master, all the name. Let's deal with me this morning. That angel that showed up yes. in our ranch. Mm -hmm. Master, help us understand. Yes. We didn't come here to stay. There's a training place and a preparation place. Touch the hearts, Master. Everybody doesn't know who you are. A basketball player named Paul played basketball with. Come to find out his son passed away this week. Touch him right now, Master. Yes. You know what's going on in his mind? Yeah. You know what's going on in his heart? Yeah. You know the pain, but I know what you can do. You can reach and touch. Yeah. Nobody else can. Yeah. You can reach nobody else can, Master. Yeah. Touch the pain that he's feeling right now. Yeah. Let him know everything's going to be all right. Yes, Let him know that you're there with him, Master. Yeah. Step by step, yeah. all the way. Yeah. Master, if you don't mind, yeah. please have mercy. Yeah. Mercy since our case. Yes, all the other names, Master. Even my family, because Eli passed away. Touch, Master, as you see fit. Help us to accept what you have allowed. You know what's best, Master. And I thank you. I thank you. Now this morning, if you don't mind, there's a need at this altar that only you can touch. You can touch and only you can satisfy. That's some prayer that's been going on, Master. And people are waiting on you. Help us learn how to wait until I change home. Holy Master, I know you know what's best. And we come this morning just to tell you thank you. Thank you. Which made mighty good to us. Yeah. Thank you, Master. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. Yeah. I tell you, thank you. Yeah. 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 You've been shelter yeah. over our head. Yeah. Most of all, I gotta tell you, thank you. Yeah. And yeah. last night I met it when I cool and go. Yeah. And I see what I'm behind me. Yeah. But you reach out and touch it. That don't fail to love kindness. And there's more than two to ten in mercy. Open up our eyes and let us see a brand new day. I want to tell you thank you for the gift you gave to mankind. The only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, who did have died and rose again. That might have a right to the tree of life. Right on, King Jesus. Because we got a right to life. Why are you riding, King Jesus? Stop by. Thank you, sir. Stop by. Thank you, Heavenly have mercy. Thank you, Please, sir, have mercy. Master, this morning, life has beaten us up. We've been struggling. They have some challenges in life. Yeah. This morning, Master, we come to pray. Yeah. It might be our last time. Yeah. Just don't know. We come to lift your name up for what you've done for us. Yeah. We come to look beyond our trouble, our trial and tribulation, and look for the hope on the other side that are better days ahead. Yeah. Come to your word and your promise, Master. We stand on your word, and we believe your word is true. Because yeah. you did it before, you can do it now. You can sure do it again. Yes. Let the words of our mouth yes. and the meditation of our heart yes. be acceptable in thy sight. Yes. O oh Lord, Lord, our strength, our strength and our redeemer. It's in Jesus' name. Lord, Jesus. Oh, it's in Jesus' name. Jesus. That we pray. Yes, pray. Amen. Oh, your faith being under you. Let's give the Lord a hand.
spit law firm and seven's cloud presents a day at the park Saturday, July the 6th, 2024 at 12 p.m. at Clinton Park, 200 Mississippi. Kickball, food, music, rifle, raffle, dominoes, and spades will be a part of the event. If you're interested in joining the tournament, please contact Mike Jenkins at 713-429-2279. This law firm and Selvin's Cloud, whoever they are, is presenting a day in the park down here at Clinton Park. And I did research them before I read it. And they are a legit uh, law firm. And Selvin's Cloud is legit too. Um, I didn't do all the information on him, but the picture they showed was of a black man under Selvin's Cloud. He does charitable work in the community. So if you'd like to take this and Google the, the law firm of this and see, but they're going to be at Clinton Park this Saturday, the day in the park. If you are interested, it's going to be up here. Mm -hmm. Even though we're at the end of June, we're going to take this time and we want to say happy birthday to our own. Everybody knows July the 3rd is blast off, 4th of July. So I so blast off for Sister Jackie. <laughs> She'll be celebrating her birthday. <laughs>
coordinated some things. Thank God for both of them. We were working on that day to try to make it a fun day back to school rally. So we thank God for them. So they're going to be working on some things that day. I don't know how we're going to be doing. But everybody is invited to come to the back and eat their fellowships with us. So please talk about home members. Everybody can come to the back. If you ain't got the grandkids with you, everybody come to the back and um, fellowship with us, eat with us, or whatever that they may have going um, on in the back. That's the second Sunday in July. We're looking forward to that day. Um, I do have a couple of people. Thank you. 
can help you out. Look at the table of contents. Rain 
in these three years. Find back now that according to the word, according to the word of God, a new prophet showed up. That's it. That's it. And we look at Kings, he's in a different place tonight. Yes, he's not just talking to just anybody's opinion. He's talking to the king of Israel. Yes. And his resume is he did more evil than anybody ever done. Yes, sir. He was a bad actor from the word say go. Lord. And what he did I'm was he challenged the children of Israel yes. to go away from serving God. Amen. And his wife named Jezebel. Jezebel. Now I don't know Jezebel. about y'all. I ain't never heard nobody name their dog yeah, Jesse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now, she was that bad. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, tough. Yeah. She's a tough girl. Yeah, yeah. I killed all of them. She killed all God's problems. <laughs> that was her main thing. The yeah, yeah. bottom line was she had a problem with God. Yeah. Because of her mindset and what she was. And all that. But now she got a, a king of Israel and gave in to his wife yeah. and married to Sidonia. And now she. Put him in a place where now, instead of serving God, yes. start serving idols. Go ahead. And Baal, they considered Baal was the, the god of the rain. Yeah. One that can make things work he, in the mind's eyes because he, and they thought process that he can make the rain, he control everything. But here comes Elijah. <laughs> Just bust on the scene like yeah. a volcano that broke over. Amen. Find out one thing about it. Don't say nothing about his mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> and say he was a tish body. That's no. And brother said, I want you to understand, out of all the study I've done, we can't find where that tish body is. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know where that is. Yeah. But he's in God's word. And that, that's where he's from. <laughs> Didn't have to get it. Yeah. And he said to the king, O King Ahab, yeah. Yeah. as the Lord God of Israel slipped before whom I stand, up word, this is who I represent. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying you got bail over there. But I know something about the true living God. Amen. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, because you don't see him, don't mean he ain't real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's for real. He's for real. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's for real. Yeah. And he sent a man, and he told the king, he says, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall be no dew or rain these years. According to my word. Now you know that made the king mad, so the Marie. Who are you? Who are you? Where you come from? <laughs> Everything right there? Hallelujah. And who is God you talking about? Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. And during this time right now, <laughs> Brother Cecil, yeah. it ain't rained in six months. That's yeah, right. That's so Israel lived on the land with cattle and goats and sheep. Yeah. They depended on grass. Yeah. They depended on the rain. Yes. Yeah. They bend it on the dew. But we find right now the Canaanites believe that Baal controlled the rain, so they understood Elijah to be declaring that his God had power over that God. That's so they were lying in the sand. Yes, it was. In the desert. Hallelujah. But what they didn't know was God turned Moses back and do the running. Yeah. 28 12. The Lord shall open up unto thee his good treasure. Yeah. The heaven to give the rain unto the land. In his season, yeah. and to bless all the works of thy hand. Yeah. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. He also said in Deuteronomy 33 and 28, Israel then shall dwell in a Satan, sown alone. The fountain of Jacob shall be upon the land, and corn and wine also, his heavens shall drop dew for them. In other words, that was a promise if Israel continued to follow what thus said the Lord. They had contended blessings. That's right. Yes. Yes. God told Elijah, tell what to do. Jay gone. Go tell Ahab. It ain't gonna rain. Tell I say so. Mm -hmm. Verse 2 says, and we talk about verse 2 in your Bible. Listen to your say. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Keep reading. Yes, 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 Yeah. You go where I tell you to go. That's right. Uh -huh. All right. I'm shutting down. 
The word of the Lord came unto him saying, Tell you what, get the quickness, you need to get a new address. Yeah, yeah. Get thee hence and from thee and turn eastward and hide thyself in the brook chair. Right, I'm just get this now. Did you get God telling you to go hide? Right. Why do you think he told him to go hide? Hey, he was going to be some problems. Hey, yeah, yeah. The kingdom got upset. Yeah, he got mad. He was in a pagan land. And then you come telling me this, and everybody in the earth, you've been shouting, my God. Yeah. Now you say your God is better than mine. Yeah. I tell you, get up in front of me like that. In front of everybody. Yeah. Back in the day, you put a chip on somebody. Young, young, young folks don't know about that. Back in the day, you used to put a chip on yourself and knock it off. No. No. Not as old. No. It's time to fight. He's mad. So God told his man to go hide yourself. Yes, sir. Well, I want you to hide. I want you to hide thyself by the brook. Yeah. Cherub, that is by before the Jordan. In other words, I got some provisions for you. That's all right. All right. Brother, so I want you to understand. Already made. God's got a hiding place. Yeah. Yeah. Each and every one of you. Yes, he do. Amen. Yes, he do. God protects you from. Hard danger? Yes, Lord. Like trials and tribulations? Yes. Situations? Yes. People, places, and things? Yes. Psalm 31 20 says, Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in the pavilion for the strife of the tongue. Mm. He also said, In Psalm 99, the Lord also will be a refuge to the oppressed. Yeah. A refuge in times of trouble. Somebody in here Lord. need God to be a refuge in your life this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what trouble you got going on. It might be some trouble on the street, trouble in your home, trouble on the job. Guess what? It might be some trouble between his left ear and that right ear. Yeah. Yeah. Psalm 83 and 3 says, Thou have taken captive counsel against the black people and consulted but that hiding one, God is hiding him. God will hide you. He was early. Then he said something, 27 and 5. Yeah, For in a time of trouble, yeah. he shall hide me yeah. in his provision. Yeah. In the secret of his tabernacle, yeah. shall he hide me. He shall set me up on a rock. Brother Susan, I need to understand. Can't nobody hide you like the Lord can. Yeah. 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 Supernatural resource. You got something at your disposal because you believe, and all you need is a piece of a mustard seed. I believe a, a, a small that piece of a mustard seed. Yes, yes. You got access to that kind of power. Mm -hmm. Psalm ninety-one and one said, "He that dwell mm -hmm. in the yes. secret place of the Most High, of the Most High, yes. shall abide under the shadow yes. of the Almighty." Mm -hmm. I know that right. Psalm thirty-two and seven says, "Thou art my high." Thou shalt repair me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with the songs of deliverance. Yes. So God told his man to get thee over there. Verse 4. And it shall be, this is mm -hmm. mandatory, that thou shalt drink of the brook. And here's the key. And I have commanded. Yeah. The who? The who? The rain. The nasty bird. Yeah. yeah. Bring some food. Like a bull. Yeah. A bull. Some mash. Yeah. yeah. I have commanded the reapers yes. to feed me yeah. down. Yeah. Brother Sus, the last time you tried to keep track of a bird. Oh, Lord. Yeah, go. <laughs> God moves some stuff around. Yeah. yeah. Now, reaping is a bird that he flips. Yeah. yeah. He moves around. Anybody paying no attention to me, shoot him away every chance you get. In fact, the raven was the first bird that Noah let out the boat when he flooded 40 days back in Genesis. Mm -hmm. 83, he opened up the window and let the raven go out to try to find dry land. Yes, it did. After it rained 40 days yeah. and 40 nights, and the water stayed upon the earth for 150 days. Yes, yes. Find out that God using a nasty bird to take care of his chosen vessel. Yeah. Yeah. He gave a command to the bird. Come on here. Come on now. Feed a man of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody here is going to do something. You got some limited resources. And that is a supernatural resource God got for you. Yeah. But the bottom line is, you can get what you got. Yeah. You can live it. You find that. But God has an unlimited supply. Amen. Yeah. And when God decides to make a commandment yeah. 
on my side. You got to trust God. When you got more money than money, when your money from yeah. you got to trust God with nothing. It seems like everything is dried up. But God showed me, now, what I got to do is, I got to put you in a place to separate you. I gotta put you in the boondocks. Yes. Sometimes he gotta put you in the wilderness. Yeah. You know he put Abraham in the wilderness. Oh, yeah, he do that. He put Isaac in the wilderness. Yeah, gotta get in the wilderness. Put David in the wilderness. Yes. He put Jesus in the wilderness. Yes. He had to get him prepared before they managed to start. Right. Brothers and sisters, some of us are in the wilderness of this thing called life. Yes. Amen. Can't figure it out. Amen. Gotta be in a place where God get you ready. To get you prepared for what he's got to do That's for you. Right. That's right. You're a prepared person. Amen. A prepared purpose. Now he says, I commanded this nasty bird. It's not one, but got the S on mine. Yeah. yeah. The ravens. Oh. <laughs> the feed he that. So he went, first of all, he had to be obedient. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you're not going to be blessed oh. unless you be obedient. Amen. Young man, I challenge you while I'm going to ask you what your name was. You were obedient by telling me your name in this sacred altar, and God heard that. Yes. Thank God for your obedience. Amen. God don't bless you. Yes. I don't know when, I don't know how. Amen. You keep trusting God. Amen. You keep the up toward the hills. Oh, yeah. We're coming to hell. One of these old days, you're going to be out there all by yourself. Yes. Yes. You'll be running with your red pack right now. You'll be all by yourself. Yeah. One thing for sure, he called on the law. Yeah. He's with you 24 7. He'll hear you. He'll hear you. That's all I just want. He'll hear you. Heart makes a time. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. There he will. Yes, 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 he Unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brook Charon. That is before Jordan. In other words, what he did was he followed the word of God. Amen. That's why it's important to read God's word. Amen. Amen. To study God's word. Right. Proverbs 13, the verse 5 says, say, Trust in God. Amen. And then not to thy own understanding. What? In all thy ways. What? In God's children, what are you going to do? Who shall direct your path? Brother Susan, he knows the future. He knows what he's got prepared for you. That's a blessing for you. The bottom line is he knows. You guess it. A supernatural resource. But look at it in verse 6. And the ravens. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What your Bible got? See what your Bible got. What you say about verse 6? And the ravens are in the morning. And the Wait a minute, the old boy wasn't hungry. Mm, no, no. He was hiding. <laughs> Two meals. Wait a minute. Now. Wait a minute. Two meals a day. Two meals a day. Some folks ain't got one meal. Yeah. Now that good meal. Yes. And he said, guess what? He said, how many birds was it? Yeah. So you got a flock of birds. I don't know last time I'm from the country. I shoot birds. Yeah. I look up and scare all the place. If anyone will bring you a piece of meat, guess what? Yeah. You ain't going to get hungry. Oh, no boy. That's all. You know what I said now? Yes. And guess what he did, Brother Bo? Hallelujah. He said, and the ravens were obedient to the commandment of God. Here's the thing I'm going to forget. If the birds obey God, how come men can't obey God? Go ahead. Psalm 8 says, what is man? Yeah. Why are you mindful of man? That you both of man, everything's obedient to you but mankind. Everything's obedient to what thus said the law. Brothers and sisters, as human beings, we pull an eye teeth like no rover came to try to get you to say, look, God got a blessing for you. Amen. If he would have been arrogant, puffed up like some of us, he just stuck out, sucking on some spit, well, Lord, Miss me a cramp, mm. man, I ain't going down now. Right. But because he was obedient, yeah. God took care of him supernaturally. Amen. Yeah. Somebody's going through something right now, and God's in the process of changing your circumstances. Amen. He's in the process of changing your situation. Yes. It's a supernatural thing. God is doing it. You can't see it. Yeah. You don't understand it. Right. It ain't meant for you to know it ain't your business. Amen. Because you God's business. Yes. And God's concerned about you, and the question with God is, how is business? Oh, Lord right. Jesus. Like this man that was running a fugitive. The ravens brought him bread and flesh. Guess what they did? Early in the morning. Yeah. Guess what? If he'd been sleeping, he'd have missed about 
breakfast, wasn't it? Yeah. He said he brought him in the morning. Bread and flesh. Yeah. And guess what happened then? <laughs> and it eat. He drank again, brought some more food. Yeah. So he got fed in the morning. Yes. And eat. That's yeah. amazing now. Who gonna train a bird, a wild bird, Come on, yeah. to play fetch? Yeah. Right. A young boy might get y'all a dog, you gotta teach him how to check, you throw a stick out there, you bring it back to you. Yeah. How long did God teach these ravens to go yeah. fetch some growth? Yeah. Huh. Go take care of Elijah. Yeah. A supernatural reason. Yeah, yeah. God got a nerve, no? Hallelujah. Look at God showing up right here. Look what he said right here. And the ravens did bring him food. Look what he said, verse 7. And it came to pass. What? After a while. So how long is a while? That the group. Read why it dried up because it ain't rain. Yeah. God told him, hey, Elijah said, Elijah, it ain't going to rain. And for three and a half years, guess what? It didn't rain. Yeah, right. So if it don't rain, it's going to dry up some stuff. And guess what happened? The brook dried up because there had been what? Oh, no man. rain. In the land. In the land. What you got for verse 8? And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Get these two mm -hmm. mm -hmm. which we call you to the side of the way of the world. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain me. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That don't make no sense. Hey, God moved. I'm a homeless man. Yeah. yeah. God could have told me I need to move. He said, and, that, and the word of the Lord yeah. came unto him saying, yeah. Arise yeah. and get up and serve it. I don't understand this place is. Severance, Sister Janiah, is in the heart of Baal's camp. That's it. That's right. It's in the center of worshiping idolatry. That's it. Now, King Ahab is running around all his kingdom looking for him. He's trying to kill him. Yeah. Now, God turned, I tell you what I want you to do. I want you to go hide right up under those boys. I want you to eat right up under them. You can hear old loud mouth Jeff yeah. talking trash yeah. no. to my prophet. Yeah. But now that I'm going to send you to an unlikely resource. Yeah. I'm going to send you. Behold, I have commanded. Watch this. A widow woman there to sustain thee. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like the middle of the day, if a woman was willing, she had to depend on her son to survive. Right. She had to depend on a young boy to make a living. Yeah. Because in the family structure, it ain't like it is in America now. Ours is like, like throw hand grenades. You throw it out there and it just disperse. Family in America is not cohesive together. We find right now, back in biblical days, if the man dies or the father dies, the woman's in trouble. That's right. Ain't nobody else going to lift a pinky to put food on the table. Right. To do nothing. That's right. And you gotta survive all on your own. But God had commanded a widow woman widow. to sustain you. But she's gonna take care of you. That's right. A supernatural. You're gonna make sure she takes care of you. Resource. <laughs> Verse 10. And, and he arose him with his servant. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, then to that man right here, so the same the, the widow woman was that. Yeah. She, was doing. she was gathering sticks. Go ahead and read me verse 10 and see what she was doing. So the Lord was going to Zarephath. Yeah. And he came to the gate of the city. And behold, a widow woman was there and had a little sick. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Look at me, verse 11. And when she was born to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. Give me twelve. And she said, But the Lord thy God live, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal and a bear, and a little oil and fruit. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat it and die. Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Y'all thought y'all got some problem. Hey. We got somebody with a grown up issue. Oh, you y'all gotta get into this thing. Oh, Lord Jesus. That back row, get into this thing. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me say it right now. And he arose and went to heaven. And when he came to the gate of the city, behold, the widow woman was there. Yes. Didn't say her name. No. How can you pick out that crowd and everybody that was there? Hallelujah. Because she was just. Yes. She looked like it. She didn't have no fancy clothes on. She was dusty. She was looking bad, all messed up, doing the best thing she 
he could for survival. Brother, so when the down to survival more alpha, you ain't worried about your wig straight. Right. Worry about your lipstick straight. Right. You ain't worried about not flying everything together. You're trying to make it. Right. In life, it's a struggle. Yes. In life and living in this thing called life, it ain't easy if you do it by yourself. Amen. If you trust in God, everything will be all right. The widow was there gathering some sticks. Well, why is she gathering some sticks? That's a good question, isn't it? Why is she gathering sticks? And he called her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in a vessel that I may drink. Now, ain't no water around nowhere. All of a sudden, here's a widow woman. Who are you? You just showed up. I ain't never seen you before. Lord. How many sisters in here, if a dirty, dusty old man will walk up to you and say, uh, Sister Marie, fetch me some water. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. What you say that, Sister Lee? Yeah. <laughs> Sister Kenny. <laughs>
saying, I'm gathering not one stick, but two sticks. That I may go in and dress it for what? Me? And who? Myself. You got your nerve to ask me to get my groceries. I ain't got a handful of this. I got enough. I got who are you? <laughs> a supernatural resource. Uh, dress for me and my son, yet what? That we may eat it and what? And die. This is it. I'm at wit's end. I ain't got no resource. I ain't got no way of getting no more food. I ain't got no social security check. I ain't got no welfare check. I ain't got nothing. Lord I'm at a point in my life. Lord. All I got, I mean, make a provision for my baby. And this is all I can do. And my child can't do no better. Yes. I can't do no better. Wow. I done made up my mind. I done gave up. Yeah. But what we finna do? We finna eat this. Mm-hmm. Now we finna die. Wow. Oh, so you and he lied. Yeah. 
to the scripture. Man of God says, for thus said the Lord, to be wiser of what is written is great folly. If you smarter than God is great folly. If you smarter than the Creator is great folly. If you fall, you smarter than the promise God has made you, you're going to fall flat on your face. Thus said the Lord, God of Israel. That's the same God we're talking about. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill from what is coming my help. Oh my help. Oh my help. Oh my help. Come from the Lord. That's my old kill. He told me to change this morning. Fear not. The barrel of meal shall not waste. Neither shall the crews of, of all fail mm. until the day mm. that the Lord yeah. send rain yeah. upon the earth. From sisters, Hallelujah. God held back the rain <laughs> for three and a half years. Yeah. The mill didn't stop. That's it. Three and a half years. That's right. The oil didn't stop. That's right. Three and a half years. Yeah. God made a way out of nowhere for three and a half years. If he can do it for this old widow woman yeah, yeah. and her son, yeah. you mean to tell me he can't do it for you today? You mean? Yeah. He yeah. can't fix your situation today? Uh -huh. He can't make a miracle out of you today? He can't take his resources and turn around and make somebody bless you in spite of right. right. a supernatural Amen. resource. And this is what verse 15 says. And she went and did according to the things of her life. And she and her house did he need Wait a minute, wait a minute. Because she was obedient. Yeah. Yeah. She had nothing. Nope. God specialized in nothing. Yeah. God take a little bit of something. Yeah, right. And make it out of nothing. That's right. And he expected himself. He did good time. Yeah. And the reason why I want you to understand it, here is a blessed assurance. Of the promissory note that God got an Old Testament about, He keeps His word. Is it? And she went mm -hmm. and did according to the saying of Elijah. Yeah. All God has had to do is listen what that loud mouth preacher is telling you. Yeah. 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 Just do what God told you, Amen. and everything gonna be all right. Nobody in your situation is the same. No. That's what's so unique about it. Yeah. The God that I serve is a God of abundance. That is the promise of God yeah. that God has in faith in you that you don't realize that you need. And the reason why I need to share this with you is going to tell you about Deuteronomy 20, 29 29. Let's see what you had to say for you this morning. Ooh, it's a rich text. Y'all got to excuse me because it's a supernatural resource. And he says right here, Deuteronomy 29 29. That is, the secret things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. I'm going to read that to you again. Lord. The secret things belong unto the law. I go. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and our children forever. You need to understand, the best thing you can do is come to church. God got a blessing for you, and now that but he got a blessing for your children. Yeah. Your grandchildren. Yeah. Forever. Because the bottom line is, God got a provision of the providences of God are in place. That's one of his attributes for why Amen. oh you. You mean that's why you look at me like a cat with a brand new cake while going and say, I'm going to pray for you. You didn't realize that God got a blessing for you. One day God let you be a man and grow up and be a daddy. Your child's going to be blessed if you keep praying to the church out. Your grandchildren will be blessed if you pray to the church out. But you got to be that way. you got to come to the church. you got to take time out. When everybody else is talking about you, say, yeah, I hear what you're saying, but i got a show thing. Mm -hmm. God he gave me a secret, and the secret thing is he's got a supernatural resource that's going to take care of me, my family, my children, my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren, oh. all the things that he said. It's forever and ever. That's right. That's right. That's the word. God honors his word. That's right. Above his name. That's right. That's right. And a barrel of meal wasted not. Mm -hmm. 
believe in the truth of all yeah. faith according to the word of the Lord, yeah. which he spake by Elijah. Brothers and sisters, I need to understand when God speaks, oh, he's talking to one old you. God spoke no time ago, 42 generations ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus said, Father, give me a body. Right. And God said, okay, mm -hmm. you're going to do 42 generations. That's it. No problem was sat back waiting. They said, God, go send us a miracle worker. Yeah. God, go send us a hero. God, go send us a deliverer. And Jesus got his way. Hey. And he came through the moon channel of right. Mary. Yes, he did. And he walked through the dusty road of the devil yes, road. Yeah. He found out he walked on the earth for 33 and a half years. Yes, and then one day Jesus said, And I, and I, if I, yeah. be lifted yeah. up yeah. from the earth, yeah. all my yeah. drugs, all me, all me, on me. Yeah. Yeah. they nailed his hand. Yeah. That they need right now. 